Oh, Jay on the Beach has been super fun. The talks have been great. Um, the food's awesome. We had a really great paella for lunch today. And then the city is just beautiful and we're literally right on the beach. So it's been, <laughs> I got a tan, a little bit of a tan. <laughs> Um, I really loved uh, Dharma Shulka's talk on Cosmos DB. I think that tech is just super cool. Uh, that was probably my favorite so far. Distributed Sagas uh, is this protocol that I say for coordinating microservices. And what we're trying to do here is it's not providing asset transactions like you might get with a system like Spanner, but it does provide you a more coherent way to deal with um, abstracting out some of the concurrency out of a system. So what a Distributed Saga guarantees is that uh, you break a single business level app uh, Log business level logic into uh, a bunch of requests. Like, you know, if you're booking a trip request or to book a trip, you might book a hotel and then book a car and um, book an airline reservation. And then the guarantee is either all of those succeed, um, but or if something happens and it fails, like you can't get the hotel on the day you want, it'll uh, execute what are called compensating requests. So then these compensating requests will all be executed that need to be by, the, uh, by this protocol. And then your system is back into a semantically consistent state. Uh, so this is really nice because today the way we code things and we build these crazy microservice Death Star architectures that just like evolve over time is we sort of causally uh, or we like we use feral concurrency control, which is this great term that Peter Bayless came up with, uh, chain things together and create our own sort of like one-off, ad hoc, bespoke, artisanal concurrency and control mechanisms. Uh, and so this sort of abstracts some of that away and makes applications a little simpler to build. I mean, so it's definitely, I've talked about this before and this was, talk was more of a, a revised version. Um, I'm actually currently using this in Twitter. We're building um, an implementation to use in distributed build infrastructure. And then, uh, you know, about six months ago, because of some of the, the talks I've, I've given on this before, um, some of the folks at Uber reached out to me and were like, hey, come talk to our teams about this. We're, you know, we want to like maybe look at doing this. And then um, at YAL 2016, which is in Australia in December, uh, Matt Rainey, you know, publicly announced that they're working on this, which I think is super cool, and, and, and implementing it to try to make their microservices easier to use. So I actually think that this idea of multi-consistency databases like Cosmo DB does, and then um, Twitter Manhattan also actually does this. We provide uh, eventual consistency and um, strong consistency, and you can do both, is really powerful. And while you might have to understand these different models to use them, people are doing that. You're just picking like this database to get like eventual consistency, and this database to get strong consistency, and then you have like to operate both of them, and then understand two different APIs. And so what's great about Cosmos DB, I think personally, is that it's sort of packaging it under one understandable API. It's providing all this tunable stuff to the user. Um, and you know, like they have Leslie Lamport bless their TLA plus specs. So you like really know it works, right? Um, so I think that's really, I think that'll actually help ease the burden, I think a little bit of doing some of this.